Hello my fabulous Confessions of a Paper Addict fans. It is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for this design team layout. So for this layout I have used the cut file monthly memory decks and I have cut January, February, March and April. I do have the other ones cut and I will be getting to those throughout this month so make sure you keep your eye out soon. But at the moment I have only made the first four, so the first four months of the year. Uh, my plan, my plan with these is to make a little birthday memory decks box. So I'm doing each of the months. Uh, the months are being decorated with something that kind of represents that month for me slash for the world. So some well-known things, some that are more specific to us and our family. And then I'm undecided if each individual person will have their own memory decks card that goes into the box or if they'll just kind of be one or two or three, depending on how many birthdays in the month, memory decks cards with their like name, maybe a photo that goes with it. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to represent it, but the birthdays themselves will not be on these month cards that I have created. There will be additional cards that go in and amongst these ones. Um... I've really not thought through the ins and outs exactly of how this is going to go. I've literally never done memory decks before. This is absolutely my very first time. And I have only done these first four months. So I'm kind of making it up as we go along. I have made my memory decks box um, using a tutorial that I found online. So that has been done. I have done my first four cards and I'm just going to keep rolling from here and just see what comes of it and I'll absolutely share this as I go along so you can see what comes of it as well. So definitely check the description box down below where you will find the link to this specific cut file which is the memory decks months or the memory decks monthly. I will also have a link to the confessions of a paper attic Etsy shop and I will also have a link to the Copa Cut Files Facebook group, which I highly recommend that you join. It is a wonderful little group. Um, you'll be the first to see all the releases and any sales. You will also get free cut files. You will also see all the design team work as well as other work that people share uh, on that page. But I am going to give you a little word of warning. There are, I think, two questions you need to answer. Please answer them. If you do not answer those two questions, you don't get accepted into the group. They are super simple. They're nothing tricky. Um, just make sure you spend the time to actually check for those questions. Maybe scroll down just to make sure. Uh, just so that we, you do definitely get to be part of this fabulous group. Um, so, Memory Dex cards. Have you made any yet? Are you on the Memory Dex bandwagon? As I mentioned earlier... I absolutely am not. Well, I am now. This was my very, very, very first time making memory decks cards. And I honestly picked up the trend, picked up the bandwagon because of Virginia making these brilliant cut files. She, if you haven't checked out the new release, she released on the 15th a bunch of memory decks um, cut files that you can use to make your own. Um, there are these monthly ones. There are just some plain cards which I will hopefully be utilizing when I make my birthday ones. Um, there are also some add-ons with some little embellishments and things that you can cut out. So she's pretty much got you completely set to start off this memory decks concept if you are wanting to give it a go. The thing that I love about these memory decks cards is one, they're super small and quick to make. Um, Two, they can totally bash your stash because any of those just little leftover bits and bobs, you can pop them on. Uh, and three, I love how, because you're not confined to an album, you can put on things that are a little bit more chunky than maybe you would have usually made, which I absolutely love because I feel like um, we're sometimes confined by our books and we don't want things to be too massive going inside our pockets and going into our albums whereas here it's almost like the sky's the limit you can make it as full and as fat as you like so that is super cool now i haven't spoken to you at all about what i've been doing with january so i hope you have been watching along and it's made total sense um all of the bits and pieces of this little house have just been hand cut. They're not, it's not a cut file or anything like that. I just cut out a square um, 
and then trimmed off the sides to make cut another square or rectangle to make the roof. That scalloped edge is pattern paper. I just fussy cut the scallop out. Um, and then you saw I got my little teeny tiny diamond press out to cut those little circles. Um, the windows are just cut. It's all just cut by hand. And some little bit of black stitching around the edge. And that is why that Jan, J-A-N there, that is part of the cut file, I actually embossed that with black embossing just to give it a little bit more shine, um, make it stand out a little bit more. And it looks a little bit more like a thicker this way, which I love, than just uh, more flat paper, which I think is just a really nice little extra touch to add to my cards. So January is finished and I think it is super cute. Um, my one word of warning when you're making these is do be aware of how much space you have on either side of you. If you're using like a Rolodex or something, you can probably uh, hang a little bit more out your sides. I am in a box, so I can hang things above my, my memory deck shape, but I can't really hang things off the side. I've got a tiny bit of wriggle room. The house, as you saw, was sticking out a little bit, but I really can't go much wider than that. Um, it's like half a centimeter. Otherwise, I will. it won't fit in my box. So do definitely be aware of that. Now, moving on to February, I have got this gorgeous thick ribbon. So I originally cut all of my months because you can see this is another bright green and you might be wondering about my color choices. I originally cut all of my months in like rainbow card. So I've got like a bright yellow green and for January, then this bright green for February. March is going to be a darker green and then April goes into sort of a dark navy blue. You can imagine May, June, July and August, we're getting into the purples and the dark pinks. September, October, November and December, we're getting into reds and oranges. So I've cut them in a bit of a rainbow pattern, thinking that would look really cute. Then I realized, and it does look really cute, but then I realized as I was embellishing them, they're quite um, tricky colors to work with. This super bright green didn't really go with my idea of Valentine's. So I'm just working with what I've got. So I uh, put on the big piece of ribbon, which I just love. It's got little, um, almost like teeny tiny pom-pom balls on the sides of it, which is just gorgeous. And then cut out this geometric heart. Uh, this is a bit of a mix match of Paige Evans supplies. That that heart is a Paige Evans, but the, uh, you haven't seen them yet, but all those stickers that are just off to the top right-hand side, they're the um, Lucky Me, I think it's called, collection. It's really old. That little rubber heart, I have no idea. That was like something Katie was throwing away, but I thought it was cute, so I kept it. And I've never been able to use it, so I'm covering up the you and me and just sticking it on and getting it used up. That's what I was saying about using your scraps. I just love that you can just put almost random things on here and they work, they make sense, which I just love. So this is my little February Valentine's day um marker so in my brain i know um jack's birthday is in february and he's like the only person in my family who was born in feb so he will have his own little memory dex card that is going to go behind this one uh it's gonna have a picture of him maybe some things that he loves maybe just his date of birth i was thinking i would put how old he is but then realized next year he's not going to be that age so that could get confusing so i think i'll just put his date so that I can count up myself each time, like I can remember each time how old he is. Or maybe I'll just do it so I can pull the age sticker off or something and change it each year. I'm not 100% sure. I really have to think this through a little bit more. But the the concept is here and I really like the idea of it. Um, so there's my little February. I really love that one. I think it is so cute. I love just all the different elements, how there's the soft texture of the, of the ribbon and then there's that sort of, um, acrylic, plastic. I just, yeah, I love all of that. I think that is so cool. Uh, so March. March was a little bit strange. There's nothing really special in inverted commas about March, um, just in our Australian calendar in general, that really stood out to me. But something about March in our family, it is that month, you know, everyone's got one, where it's like 
everybody's birthday. We literally have, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have eight birthdays out of 12 people in March. So basically everyone's birthday is in March. So that's why I decided to make it super birthday -y, um, and that is a word, birthday-y. <laughs> um, I just cut out these little cake um, and on a little cake stand, the little candles that I'm putting up the top are actually a branding strip, just super cute. Um, and I think I'm using Happy Cake Day by Pebbles. I think it's called Happy Cake Day, but something by Pebbles. It's just a super cute little collection. Again, I have embossed the word ma, M-A-R, um, using gold embossing this time. So February, I used white embossing. Uh, in March, I've used gold embossing, just picking up a color that I think suits well. There's gold spots on that green paper. So just trying to tie it in. Um, I just really love the effect embossing those letters has um, just helping them pop a little bit more off the page. Um, I'm trying to bring them to the front. So even though obviously part of the cake is there in the M's letter, I'm just sticking them over on top because it is important to be able to tell what month is which for this, um, activity, for this concept. So what else can I tell you? Not much. Um, just playing around. Oh, trimming my edges there, you can see, but just playing around with how I want this to look. I kind of briefly planned these out in my head. Um, I did do some little scribbles on paper. They really would make very little sense to anybody else, but it was just sort of a bit of a reminder to me as to what kind of concept I guess I wanted for each month so that I knew when I got to March, oh, that's right, you're doing the big cake. And I knew when I got to February, yeah, 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 that's right, it's it's birth, it's um, Valentine's Day. So that kind of drew, directed me into what collections to get out. I hadn't actually picked specific collections for each one, but like with January, I was like, oh, the house, okay. Um, and I just actually started using scraps at first. And then I remembered, oh, Jen Hatfield, she'd be great for homey, cutesy little thing so I grabbed her then when I was doing February I was like mm, I'm sure I've got some lucky ass stickers somewhere so I grabbed that kid out when I was doing March and I was like yeah that's right I'm looking at birthday grabbed my birthday supplies so I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the months I will get the surprise along at the same time as you do but uh, I'm really enjoying just kind of playing with random things in my scrap room and not overthinking it too much I felt like March was missing something, jumping back to my actual creating here. Uh, it was looking a bit flat. I really loved the little avocado and all of that, but it still just wasn't popping the same way as the other ones were. So I decided to throw some um, sequins on it. Why not, hey? A little bit of sparkle, bling it up a bit. And that made a massive difference. It really helped to pick up the page. So I love that. And she is done, so that is March. So I've got one more left to do with you today, and that is for the month of April. Now, it is Easter in April, so I have made a little Easter layout. Now, I was umming and ahhing about what to do with the rabbit. Um, Virginia's got some amazing, cute little rabbit cut files over uh, at Copa that I was tempted to cut out a little rabbit cut file. But then I remembered I had this little U collection from uh, hide and seek I think it's called from um, Kaiser Craft and it had a little rabbit in it and I was like no that is too perfect I have not used half enough of this collection up I'm going to fussy cut this little rabbit off the page and I'm definitely using him so it doesn't look or her whatever doesn't look super super eastery but I really love it and I think it is so cute so this one, I have embossed my letters in copper this time round, copper, um, just because I hadn't used copper yet, so why not? And you can see that I also made an egg shaker pocket. So I used some pattern paper in just some pink stripe and um, put some vellum on top. You know me, if you've been watching my channel for a while, it's not really vellum. It is tracing paper. 
I will need to be careful. Tracing paper is quite a bit thinner than vellum and it is not going to be inside a plastic pocket and protect it. So I will need to be careful not to be too rough and t tear it or um, you know, rip it in any way. But I think she's going to be fine. Um, but I filled it with a whole bunch of different sequins, which I just adore this look of the complete mess. I think it is gorgeous. Then I wanted to make a cute little tail for the bunny rabbit, uh, but I didn't have any little pom-poms and I certainly didn't have any little white ones. And I was not going to go and buy them just for one little white pom-pom. So I was super cheeky and pulled, like literally pulled a little bit of stuffing out of a pillow in my lounge room. <laughs> Undid the zipper, snatched them off. Then I just rubbed, rubbed it round and round and round and round and round in my hand to make like a ball. Cut the bottom off so it would be flat and glued her on and Bob's your uncle. Done. So there you can see my um, four cut files in their box, my four memory decks cards in their box. along, And you got a little sneak peek at my other rainbow colours sitting there behind that I haven't done yet. Here again is a flashback at the January, February and March. I absolutely adore how these turned out. I cannot wait to make my next ones. Um, May, June and July are going to be so much fun and August. And hopefully I get to September, October, November this month as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantabulous week and have a happy scrappy day. Bye everybody.